Hey, JK fam. What's going on? Um, right now I am on my way to pick up Zeke. Um, it is 1040 and I'm on my way to go pick him up from work. Um, Hurricane Irma is coming. I'm so nervous. I'm super scared. And the hardest part about this whole thing is I'm going to have to leave. I have to leave to go to Boston in the morning. My flight is at 7 a.m. Um, my job is um, sending us, sending a few of, not a few, but like 82 of us to um, Boston to um, work while we're there so um, right now that is like the hardest part of this whole situation because I have to leave Zeke and I have to leave my family and I am just so scared and I know that right now um, it is a hard time for everyone here in Miami everyone is like going crazy there's no water nowhere gas lines are crazy so um for the most part my family were all okay um i know my mom my grandmother my brother all of us everyone is well prepared right now i'm just you know i'm just praying for the best praying that everyone's family not just mine but everyone's family here in miami is safe and that we can get through this whole thing um it, it'll I'm pretty sure it's gonna pass over um there may be some damage which I am concerned about because I don't want to come back to my house just being a total wreck I'm really ner nervous about coming back home and seeing my house destroyed so I mean those are the hardest things right for me right now but um I mean it was just so sudden I didn't even I didn't even know I was gonna have to leave so soon um I, I felt like they were at least gonna give us at least a day or two but no, they called me and was like flight is at 7 a.m. And it's just so hard because I just got back from out of town and like I only been with Zeke for like a day, so I don't know. He was a little bit upset about it, but he's okay now. He understands that, you know, certain this is you know it's part of life. This is what we signed up for, so um I know he's gonna be okay. so freaking nervous and scared to leave everybody but I know it's something I have to do um like I said my prayers go out to everyone everyone out there in Miami everyone that's here everyone that's um um getting stocked up and loaded up make sure you have your waters your emergency kits um uh shutters up everything gas, gas for the generators, gas for your car, all of that. Um, and just stay safe. Go in the safest part of your house if you have to. Like, it is it's really that serious. And I don't think, like I said in my previous video, I don't remember me ever being so scared of a hurricane in my life. Um, but for some reason this particular storm has really have me shaken up but I know that with God anything and everything if you have faith in him you believe in him you can overcome everything anything so I just know that he 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 got us and my family 
and everyone here will be okay. We might have a little damage. We might get hit a little bit with some damage, but that stuff can be rebuilt. So as long as we have our lives, that's what's most important. So um, I'm on my way to pick up Zeke right now. Um, I'm like five minutes away from his job. So you guys will get to hear from him in a little bit. No, I shouldn't be recording and driving, but I just felt like I needed to talk to you guys, my second family, about what's going on here and how I feel. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. So I may be able to, I've never been to Boston before, so that's like... I mean, I've never been to Boston, um, even though it's going to be for work, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some time to at least explore the city a little bit, so I'm kind of um, excited about doing that, but I'm just nervous about leaving my family, that's all. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um... Where are some of you guys from? Like, where does it, everyone live? Like, where are you located? Um, talk to me. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Um, oh, I know we were talking earlier. We were saying how we wanted you guys to guess me in Zeke's age. Um, I really, 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 really can't wait to see you guys' answers. <laughs> ready to go and get something to eat because my stomach I've been eating bullshit all day like since since breakfast time I probably ate that's all I ate was breakfast that was it I didn't eat nothing else oh and then I had two more biscuits later on that day but then after that that was it I didn't have nothing else after that so I am freaking starving I didn't cook I was so tired listen I've been so tired ever since I came back from my trip the girls trip that I just laid in bed literally all day like I came home and the house was a freaking wreck and I was so pissed off about that but whatever you leave the house to men because my brother lives with us so it's me Zeke and my brother leave the house with them and oh my god it, and then my my brother's girlfriend was here for the weekend, so I came back and the house was a freaking wreck. And the one thing I hate is a dirty kitchen. Like I hate a dirty kitchen that aggravates me. The floor needs to be swept. It needs to be mopped in there. If anything else is dirty, please let the kitchen be clean. Clean the kitchen and the bathroom is the most important thing to me as far as cleanliness. <laughs> with you I need to fill up gas I don't have any gas and I've just been avoiding waiting in those damn lines like it's fucking ridiculous it's freaking ridiculous <laughs> it's so ridiculous the lines that I was like you know what I'm gonna just wake up early in the morning even though I, I know I have to leave I have to get I have to be up at four anyways so I figure hey I might as well get up go to get some gas while everyone's sound asleep and um, and just fill up while everybody's still sleeping but we'll see <laughs> God is so good. God has been so good to me. I really thought, because I didn't know how I was going to get to the airport. And one of my co-workers, she's not even going on the trip, but she hit me up and was like, hey, how are you getting there? And I'm like, mm, 
I was gonna take an Uber and she was like, oh, you want me to take you? And I was like, wow, are you serious? She's like, yes, I'll take you. I'm like, all right, like, are you sure? Cause she lives like in Miramar. Miramar is like 20, like 15, 20 minutes away from me. So she's gonna come all the way from Miramar to take me all the way to Miami airport. So God has been so good for me in that aspect, in, in this aspect. I've just been trying to live my life and make the right decisions. And he's just been allowing me to move in ways that I didn't even think that I would be able to move. Things that I didn't think that I would be able to do, he's allowing me to and showing me that it's okay to do it. And I'm just so thankful so thankful like this youtube thing like i didn't even i to be honest with you i procrastinated zeke will tell you he knows like i procrastinated so bad with this that it was just like you know what forget what everybody's gonna say forget what everybody's gonna think just go out there and just do it and don't worry about what you don't have focus on what you do have you have a phone just video from your phone like what's what's so hard about that like I was just so nervous because like I might not have all the special effects like everyone does right now because I don't have the computer or whatever the case may be but I know that you have to build yourself up to be able to get to that point in YouTube so and I see everybody else started they had you had to start somewhere so I was just like you know what let me just block everybody out and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it so this is why we are doing this my baby been wanting to do this for the longest so we both was just like fuck it let's do it we got this we'll worry about everything else later let's just start it <laughs> so here we are um but i am here at zeke's job waiting on him outside he said he got off at 10 30 so thank god i didn't get here exactly at 10 30 i knew that they was gonna try to make him stay here a little longer because he works at Home Depot and you know Home Depot has been crazy. Everybody trying to get wood and flashlights and shutter screws and all type of craziness so I know he had a long day um, so I will come back to you guys when he's in the car 